Imagine this frame represents responsive screen sizes going from desktop all the way down to mobile. Also imagine we have a hero section at the top of our website that takes up the full height of the screen. Let's go ahead and add a background banner to our hero section. The banner has very simple instructions. Always be 100% width and 100% height of the section. You probably have noticed that parts of the image on the top and bottom are cut off. So why doesn't the image just scale down so none of the image is cut off? Because then there would be gaps on either side of the image and it would look really bad. That is why the image must be 100% width and height to prevent any gaps. With that in mind, let's see what happens to our banner image when we shrink the size of the viewport to represent different device widths. You can see as we get down to smaller device widths with vertical orientations, more and more of the sides of our image gets cut off. This is because our banner image has a horizontal aspect ratio, whereas our mobile device has a vertical one. Squarespace gives us a helpful tool to combat this, the image focal point, which allows us to reposition the focus of the image on mobile. But the image focal point can only do so much to mitigate how bad the cropping has made our photo look. So what if we upload a different banner image with a vertical aspect ratio so it looks good on mobile devices? The problem with that is on wider screen devices, the image will appear really zoomed in with lots of the top and bottom cut off as it scales to keep its width at 100% of the section. This is even worse. Knowing now how banner images behave on different screen sizes, let's talk about best practices for getting the best looking banners on all devices with three areas of focus. Image dimensions, bleed margins, and image file size. First, image dimensions. Squarespace's documentation on this topic suggests an image width of no more than 2,500 pixels, so this is personally what I use for my banner images. I have found that an image height of 1,600 pixels yields a nice rectangular aspect ratio which helps to somewhat limit any extreme cropping on any one device. Bleed margins are extra space in your image that surrounds the subject of the image. The more bleed margin space you have, the more likely you are to keep your subject from being cropped. Remember, there will always be some level of cropping on your banner images, both on mobile and desktop. If you are not working with a photographer that you can instruct to include bleed margins in your photos, then your subject may be cropped. That brings us to our final area of focus, file size. Squarespace's documentation says banner images should be less than 500 kilobytes. Personally, I think you should aim for less than 300 kilobytes. Those kilobytes add up fast when you have several banners on your page and images almost always make up the largest portion of data that needs to be loaded. So you'll generally see the biggest performance increase in site load time by making sure your images are compressed. Google Image Compressor to find tons of online tools to compress your images with virtually no visible difference to the image quality. To summarize, I recommend 2500 by 1600 pixels for your banner image dimensions. Make sure you have bleed margins around your subject to allow for the image cropping on different devices. And finally, make sure your banner images are less than 300 kilobytes in size.